Hello, I'm Carsten Floor from King's College London. Uh, our team is delighted that our review on the links between cutaneous inflammation, sleep disturbance and neurocognitive function in patients with atopic dermatitis has just appeared in allergy. Atopic dermatitis manifests itself as a profoundly itchy skin condition influenced by the environment, skin barrier dysfunction and genetic factors. And there's a vicious cycle of itching and scratching that drives the cutaneous and systemic inflammation in the disease. Nocturnal itching significantly disturbs sleep, which in children is vital for normal neurocognitive processing and memory formation. And there's a strong association between atopic dermatitis and psychiatric disorders. So thinking about ADHD, depression and anxiety. And these conditions are also significantly associated with disturbed sleep. And disturbed sleep causes psychological stress on the patient and their family members, leading to impaired family relationships. Respiratory allergies such as asthma then contribute further because they also have a negative impact on sleep disturbance due to breathing difficulty. Taking uh, a closer view in skin barrier dysfunction, including the cutaneous inflammation, marked by an increase in inflammatory cytokines such as L4, L13, L31, results in stress, including cellular stress and sleep deprivation. And these peripheral signals mediate itching communicated to the central nervous system to induce cytokine activity in the brain, exacerbating sleep disturbances leading to reduced total sleep time and sleep efficiency, as well as reduced duration of rapid eye movement sleep. And reductions in sleep continuity and REM sleep are associated with cognitive impairments, such as reduced sustained attention, working memory, executive function, and processing speed. Both reduced sleep and cognitive impairment lead to psychological stress, which can lower the central itch threshold, including nocturnal scratching, which further damages the skin barrier. And sensory nerve proliferation in the periphery results in enhanced neuronal sensitization, whereby a lower itch threshold of nociceptors or neurons is induced by inflammatory mediators and results in increased itch C fiber responsiveness and release of neurotransmitters such as glutamate and brain derived neurotrophic factor, and usually non proteogenic sensory input from for instance, touch and heat at the spinal level convey to the itch signaling secondary afferents. And that explains the intense itch perception uh, by many patients, even with relatively mild atopic dermatitis. This is all really complicated and needs a multidisciplinary team approach. Uh, we are dermatologists, sleep medicine, uh, imaging science, immunology, psychiatry and cognitive neuroscience experts, all working together in a program called Mind and Skin. Have a look here, the QR code will take you to our clinical trials registration and you might also want to watch our short video introducing the program. Thanks for listening.